Welcome to Dhaka University of Engineering and Technology here in Bangladesh. Our mission is to design and build next generation high performance masterboard. We started our journey by making and testing few Gohar prototypes. After three months of continuous work, we have almost completed our Gohar and now we have a full functional Gohar. Let's have a look on our Gohar. First, we design our rover chassis uh, in solvers according to the final prototype. It looks like an insect. For this shape, we get facilities to run on extreme difficult terrain like steep slope, inclined path, and rock without turnover. The six wheel individual suspension system gives it more stability. The middle two wheels are kept spaced more than the front and rear wheels to reduce rolling. We also designed special types of wheels. Electronic system is responsible for driving the motors, actuators, also establishment of communication and camera system. We used Arduino Mega for controlling the rover system. Electronic system also gives the determination of some parameters on collected sample. We use GPS to determine the rover location. We are currently using two lead acid battery for testing purpose only and have designed for using six parallel LiPo each of 3300 mAh battery. All the electronics parts are accumulated on a single motherboard. This is our rover arm. We have designed having six degrees of freedom orientation in of objects like different engineering tools and equipments about 2.5 kilograms of weight and can be operated simultaneously for sample collection as well as temperature measurement from the soil depth of more than 10 centimeters. Here we use three linear actuator for three degrees of freedom. We use two motors and has 360 degree rotation on the gripping system. Our design gives the facilities to grip objects by electromagnet attached with the gripping system. We also have a special mechanism for some collection. In our communication system, we use two different frequency. One is comparatively low than other, and they are for 33 megahertz and 5 gigahertz. Low frequency used for control the robot and high frequency for video clip. The reason behind these two frequency is that the low frequency can propagate long distance over the ground. So it is not important to line up side between the control station and rover. The most important thing is that if we lose the high frequency signal, we can manually rotate the high frequency directional antenna using the low frequency signal where low frequency omnidirectional antenna is used. We design a software as it can help us to control the rover. Now we are trying to modify the parts to increase our rover performance. The reason behind this awesome project is the great contribution of our, all our team members and the support of our advisor. Hopefully we will show a great performance in URC final round. See you in MDRS USA.